Hey, GovCon Giants family, Eric Coffey here. Today, we are discussing the DOD $7 million awards chart. We're going to look at this past week's awards. Uh, we're going to go day by day, and we're going to look at just the ones that really impact us or I believe can really serve or benefit those of you out there. And then following that, we're going to jump into the sources sought for the past week. There's 532 notices. So we're not going to cover all of them, but definitely going to try and reach through the majority of them, take a look and see again if there's anything that stands out for those persons of interest. But before we do that, I want to talk about tomorrow, Monday, YouTube Live, and we're discussing proposal writing. I know a lot of people are very interested in proposal writing. It's a very hot topic, and we're going to go through and talk about proposal writing. So bring your questions, bring your comments. Tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time, you could save it, you could set a reminder. Let's get started. August the 7th. August the 7th actually was a really interesting day for space. A couple of major awards in the space field. Uh, this one by United Launch Services for $337 million. And then another one by Space Exploration Technologies for another $316 million. And those were the two that really stood out to me. Uh, but, I mean, that's $600 million in space awards just in that single day alone. So it's huge. Looks like our government's really putting a lot of money into the mission of going to space and supporting it. And then on top of that, for those persons who may be in or around Edwards Air Force Base, JG and Contracting just picked up a $55 million IDIQ. Definitely want to reach out to them. Maybe you're on their vendors list. Good time to give them a call and say hi. And that pretty much covers August the 7th category. Let's look here on the 6th. A couple of things that stood out on the 6th that I thought, uh, maybe we could benefit someone. Going back to Edwards Air Force Base, looks like they're spending a lot of money at Edwards Air Force Base. A company out of Missouri, they received a $34 million contract to construct a two-story building. I thought that was pretty cool. Rockwell Collins, they, uh, Rockwell Collins, if you have not already listened to the podcast, guess we had on our show someone from Rockwell Collins. Definitely take a look at that. On the 5th of August, let me scroll through. And I know I'm going through this fast, but again, you... If you don't know how to look for this information, I've already put out a video how to find it. The At the top, you can see the browser, so you can go back and look. Just wanted to give a quick overview for those persons out there who, again, if you don't have time to go through this stuff, it's a lot of information. And so what I've done is I've went through it, and in a seven-minute video, you can basically see all of the things that are pertinent. Um, this is interesting here. Kel Brown and Root Services out of Houston, Texas. They were awarded a $75 million IDIQ in Djibouti. Okay, so that thought that was really interesting, Djibouti, Africa. People laugh when I say, oh, yeah, we have people working out there. But one of my uh, Ostaboos from the Navy actually is out there administering contract work. So it's just kind of small world to see it come full fold where they're actually doing that. Um, there was something else that I want to talk about Okay, here it is. The one at the very bottom here. This company at Grand River Antiseptic Manufacturing. They were awarded a $160 million contract, firm fixed contract for domestic aseptic fill and finish manufacturing capacity for critical vaccines related to COVID. Thought that was interesting. Wanted to share that. Now, on this date, the 4th, um, this is probably one of the most interesting things. A couple things that stood out. This company, Crimp Construction, out of Jasper, Indiana, won a $35 million IDIQ to do naval support work in Indiana. So if you are in or around that area, definitely reach out to them. And then the most interesting, Atlantic Diving Supply, where it's awarded another contract. And if you've never heard of Atlantic Diving Supply, I highly encourage you, take a look at this video. I'm going to actually put a link on it at this particular point. They called them the little defense contract that could. And it goes into how Atlantic Diving Supply appears to be a mom and pop shop. However, they're a multi billion dollar company pretending to be imposing as a small business. Uh, there's some articles that they reference that discuss that. And this is one in particular. It says here Virginia Beach CEO admits his small business was a secret puppet of a larger firm. So, definitely, um, it's funny that they're still getting contracts after being sued and settling. Um, but Again, for those who may be interested in learning more about that, take a look at this, this little defense contractor that could. 
uh, by CoffeeZilla. He does a really good job chronicling people who are out there scamming the system. And then on August the 3rd, to wrap it up, an Ideal D7 million awards contract. Uh, let me see. We talked about Grand River already. They awarded that contract. It looks like there was a correction. There's some site construction work being done in Martin, Kentucky. And anything else in here? Anything else that stands out? Nah, no R&D contract. Nothing much. So that's pretty much it for the awards this week. Here at Beta Sam, what I did was I actually went ahead and just pulled down the spreadsheet because with 500 plus awards or 500 plus posted source of sought notices, it was just too many for me to go through. Let's just look at them really quick. So I pulled them now. We've shown you how to do that in previous videos. In fact, I'll link it right here at this point, how you can actually go in to beta.sam and download this, pull in a spreadsheet, and you could just scroll through 500 opportunities in about 30 seconds. Uh, whereas there, their current limiting feature is, I think, a maximum of 30 uh, inquiries that you can look at on a screen at a given time. So going through the sources sought notices, uh, there's a demo of a building structure that came out. That's interesting. Um, some infusion pumps. Let's see. Contact tracing services. Uh, I know people talk about contract tracing. Let's see. There's a new. They're doing. They want to do a new laboratory in Colorado. HVAC convert. Um, oh, say talk. Say talks are good. Say talks are good. Single award task order contracts. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Natural organic matter water sampling. That sounds interesting. Cloud streaming and media services. Okay. That supports the IT and telecom group. This should be in there. Tableau license renewal support. Again, another telecom opportunity. OM services in Baton Rouge. Look at that. Human capital service virtual business opportunity session, small business event coming up. Let me pull that one up and show you because it looks like there's a small business event coming up. So we'll pull that one up and we'll highlight that one. Let's just scroll through really quickly and wrap up. Anything, anything on here that you see on the left-hand side is the notice IDs. You can actually copy and paste that, type it into your screen on beta.sam, and it will pull up. Small engine repair. I saw, uh, the thing is, I saw a couple of lease office spaces. Uh, people talk about that um, all the time. Eric, how do I do? I'm a realtor. So for anyone that has is in real estate or knows someone in real estate, I def there's always, always, uh, opportunities for leasing commercial real estate space for the government. Look, this is interesting. You want to purchase a cotton classing facility in Memphis, Tennessee, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. I'm looking, I'm looking. Angle plates for my manufacturers out there. Pharmaceutical flavor dispenser, McDill Air Force Base. That's pretty cool. Some fence repair, straightening of a tower. That should be interesting. I don't know how you straighten out a tower, but okay. Let's go back. Printer paper and delivery schedule. Come on. I know, look, when people talk about low-hanging fruit, I don't know how much easier you want besides delivering printer paper. Centrifugal pumps, diesel fuel delivery services. I know my, where's my fueling people out there that want to deliver fuel? Diesel generator rental services. I got a buddy of mine that rents out generators. I hope you're watching, John. Market research for unmanned aircraft systems. I know there's people out here that deal with unmanned aircraft systems. Disinfecting robots. Where's all my janitorial cleaning people out here? Ergonomic furniture grandstands. All right. As you can see, this is a very long list. Okay, here we go. Lease office space. 
In fact, I'm going to do some, I'm just going to search for the word lease. Okay, here's the lease office space. Patient transportation scheduling software. So as you can see, I mean, it's, it's, it runs the whole gamut of opportunities. I want to now, I want to pull up that one in Beta Sam. This one that, that was for the actual event. If I could find it. Dun, dun, dun. Where is that event at? Let's look at the word event. There it is, small business event. I'm going to copy and paste that. Come over here to betas.sam. Let's see. Let me make me sign in because that's what betas.sam does. There it is. All right, Small Business Event Human Capital Virtual Center Business Opportunity Session, Cisco WebEx on the 15th for the VA. All right. So that wraps up today's session. Just wanted to cover that with everyone out there. The links to the things that we discussed will be in the notes below. Hope you enjoy. I hope I see you tomorrow, Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time for all of those who were able to catch this. If not, no worries. Every Monday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, we will... I'll uh, have my YouTube live, and on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be on IG Live. Thanks for watching.